Aloha one, aloha all, Michael here. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I believe is of the utmost relevance and importance of everything that's occurring in our society today. We've heard the term, ignorance is bliss. <coughs> I feel like that's um, very misleading because it's not true. Every belief is paradoxical because it is only partially true. So I suppose you could extrapolate some useful information from that concept. One of the things that I came up with a few months back is this particular saying. Ignorance is the abyss Innocence is bliss. So when you are ignorant about something, you're simply ignoring truthful information that you may not yet know. It's okay to admit that you may not know something or that you only know some of the information. When you know some of the information, that's going to equate to being an opinion and maybe at best a belief. Our beliefs are very emotional because they are meaningful. So a belief matters because it helps you to experience your reality from a standpoint of resonance. If something resonates with you, then it's going to allow you to believe in that thing. Now, sometimes we get attached to these, I'm going to call them lesser formations of what we know as opinions. And the reason why I say lesser than, it simply means that we are less aware of more of the information that we are capable of understanding and learning if we pay attention to how we feel about those experiences. When you are opinionated, you're going to be very likely emotional from a standpoint of things such as hatred and maybe shame or guilt or remorse. And you're going to be, you're going to be very passionate maybe in describing what you think is happening and you're going to say well it's because of my experiences that i feel that way which is all valid however if you understand that you may not know why something is happening then you're going to remain ignorant to other pieces of information that you could possibly experience and learn. So for me, it's a matter of observation. When you pay attention with as many of your senses that are relevant to the experience, then you will know more about whatever you are observing. You're going to merge and become one with the observation. So the observer becomes the observation and resonates with it. This is how we learn. If you are innocent, like a child, you're not gonna have the burden of guilt and remorse. You're gonna be free to express yourself and to have fun. So we are allowed to um, reincorporate that aspect of our being even if we are adults especially if we're adults and we've experienced enough of our lives to know why people behave the way that they do when you know why people do the things that they do you're going to be less apt to hate them you're going to be more willing to appreciate them even if you don't like them 
So there's a way to appreciate our fellow human beings, especially when they do things that we don't like. So that's the difference. And when you absolve yourself of any of the burdens that judgment bring to us, then you're going to feel more free, you're going to feel alive, and you're going to experience the beauties of this thing we call life. So with that, I'm going to say Mahalo Nui Loa, and thank you for listening.